Hello, dear partners. Nice, nice to, to see you in our, school. in our school. Since our last meeting, we have been working on consumerism. In March 2018, we posted a survey on our school website so as to know more about our habits and find out how eco-friendly the pupils, the parents and the teachers in our school are. Then, with our mathematics teacher, we work on diagrams with the results. We chose the following topics, waste, shopping and food. We are also going to announce some of the results. We also asked them about their electronic devices. You can see the answers to those questions in the exhibition Dark Phone. Okay, let's start with waste. 51% of students say they always solve their household waste, whereas only 38% of parents do, and 40% say they often do. 67% of teachers always solve their waste, and 33% of them do, so it's rather positive. We asked them if they grow their own vegetables. 55% of the students' family grow their own vegetables and 62% of the teachers. That's one advantage of living in the countryside. Nearly everybody says most of their meals are home-cooked. 29% of the pupils, 80% of the parents and 6% of the teachers often eat processed food. So we can say we have quite healthy eating habits in our school. Then we want to know where people buy their food. 76% of students' families do their shopping in a supermarket at least once a week. It's the same for teachers. It is. 64% of the students' families who shop in neighborhood shops. Teachers prefer neighborhood shops and local markets to buy their food. 31% of the students' families do their shopping on local markets and 62% of the teachers go to a local market at least once a week. Only 21% of the students' family do their shopping in producers' shop. Less than half of teachers go to a producers' shop regularly. A large majority of adults say they look at the origin of the products in order to try and purchase items produced locally or at least nationally, but students rarely do. About organic products, here is a question we ask. What percentage of your family's purchase goes to organic products? As you can see on the diagram, teachers buy more organic products than our students' families. Things are starting to change, but we can do much better. A majority of students' families, 66%, and teachers, 56%, very rarely buy second-hand products. We also ask questions about the electronic devices we own and what we do with them when we don't use them anymore. More than 90% of the pupils' parents and teachers have a mobile phone. 51% of the pupils, 68% of the parents and 38% of the teachers also have a tablet. 79% of the pupils, 89% of the parents and 69% of the teachers got the mobile new, not second hand. For 82% of the students, the reason for getting a new mobile is because their own old one is broken or lost not to get the latest one. The reason is the same for 84% of parents and 94% of students. When they don't use a mobile anymore, a majority of people tend to keep it instead of giving it. 70% of students, 69% of parents, but 44% of teachers. When their mobile doesn't work anymore, only 35% of pupils, 49% of parents, and 50% of teachers take it to a recycling center. So there is still a lot to do to promote a more sustainable way for life. That's why we decided to go to a producer's shop to interview the person in charge and find out more about such shops, the type of products they sell, and advantages for consumers and producers.